Hey guys, this is Arcade Adam here. Uh, I was getting some questions on my rig, especially with LaunchBox and uh, Big Box, so I thought I'd show it off a little bit. So this is Startup, um, testing out this new widescreen layout so you guys can get a better look at what the machine's doing and uh, what this, what's on the screen at the same time. So you can see the marquee up there and you can see my main display, see the buttons and that kind of thing. So I'm just gonna go through the menu hit real quick here. Um, got this is my steam library which is mostly steam games but uh, some of them are not from steam and it's just my catch-all for anything that's not a you know emulated arcade game so any windows based game that I can throw in there I, I toss in this library oh that don't um, yeah we'll talk about that one later that's uh, that's interesting anyway uh, let me move down the list here this is a game I thought you guys might like uh, especially those who like the beachhead games. I found this one the other day. Uh, I didn't have time to make a uh, LED map for it or anything. I didn't really even map the buttons very well either. It's just trackball and uh, left mouse click. So you'll see me move over to the trackball here when we get into some gameplay. But uh, it's pretty cool. The graphics are intense. Um, it's actually an older game. It came out in 2016, it looks like. Uh, but it's a really cool update to the Beachhead games, I thought, and it's, you know, it's the exact same gameplay. And I want to say it was under $10 on Steam, so it was a good pickup. Um, you know, so here's you go. Hey, look at the graphics. It's pretty good. And, um, you know, use trackball. I turned the um, sensitivity way up, and it's still a little slow in my opinion, so I might turn my actual window sensitivity up, but to each his own. So I'm just going to be quiet now so you guys can watch some gameplay. Maybe turn the volume back up. Um, and yeah, here you go. Don't judge on the uh, skill set here. I'm still figuring this game out. This is like the third time I've actually opened it and played it. So I think um, pretty soon here I'm going to get overwhelmed. I'm going to throw a couple rockets at him. <laughs> I don't know why, but these simple games just get me. I don't, I don't like to play complex stuff on my arcade. I'll, I'll do that on my gaming rig and sit down and you know hunker down and have fun with that. But uh, on my arcade, just give me the simple stuff every time. I'll get lost in Tetris, Pac-Man, stuff like this. You know how it is. I'll probably do a follow-up video where I map these buttons because um, I don't have the map to the control board itself so I can't get the drops and the support like it's talking about on the screen and I'll get those map mapped with LED blinky so it looks right and uh, in the future I will do another follow-up video on LED blinky and, and uh, how it's configured oh boy yep that was it for me <laughs> fun game I need some practice definitely And that's about it. Let me know if you guys have any questions. I'll do some more videos on LaunchBox, maybe. Um, I'm sure you guys have heard me preach about this uh, application over Hyperspin, because Hyperspin's fine. It's Rocket Launcher that drives me crazy, but that's another subject. Thanks. Thanks for watching. <laughs>